Meanwhile, Des Moines police, they are busy last night. Yes, they were. And you probably know why. They issued two citations for two different people shooting off fireworks within city limits. The Des Moines Fire Department was also very busy responding to calls about multiple fires in the city. One call ended with both firefighters and police officers having fireworks thrown at their vehicles. WHO 13's Zach Fisher joins us from the Oak Ridge neighborhood where the incident occurred. Zach? Yeah, Lindsay, like you just said, we're here at uh, Oak Ridge. You're uh, right off of downtown here. Uh, the incident occurring in the neighborhood, it occurred inside of it. So right here on the outskirts of it occurred with inside of the community last night in between at 10 to 11 uh, was when the call was made about a structure fire potentially at a vacant building in here. Uh, a firework may have gone in there. There was smoke coming out. So fire departments responded to that and there is some police presence when uh, fire departments go to a potential structure fire. And then that's when this incident occurred, a very large crowd uh, meeting this fire truck, uh, throwing uh, fireworks at it. And the Des Moines police describe exactly what type of fireworks were being thrown. This isn't like people were just tossing firecrackers at our cars trying to startle us. They were launching some pretty seriously sized uh, projectiles and explosives at us. And it's, it's a miracle that nobody was seriously injured or killed, whether it's us or somebody in the crowd that had gathered to watch this. Uh, you heard it there too. Luckily, no one was injured in that incident. Uh, now, the uh, neighborhood here is reporting no damages either. Uh, for what they could find, the police presence growing over the minutes once those fireworks were starting to be thrown. You can see right here in this video too that orange powder inside the community. That's actually the remnants of the fireworks being thrown yesterday. More and more police coming just to protect the firefighters as they made sure there was no structure fire inside a vacant home here. So. I talked with the Oak Ridge neighborhood today about any damage that may have happened here. Yes, I came in this morning and my first question was, is there any damage? And the maintenance team responded with, we had to pick up trash, which of course nobody wants to do, but I really appreciate that that was the extent of it for the most part. So lucky enough too that no one uh, had uh, a uh, damaged property here, damaged apartment, none of the public facilities in here either. And uh, Prezik shares with me too that the Oak Ridge neighborhood over the last several years, their management team has been doing a really good job making it a safe place for the community. He just said that this is an outlier and a very dangerous one at that, Lindsay. Absolutely, Zach. Yeah, you want to enjoy fireworks. You know you can't have them here in the city limits, but you definitely don't want to be shooting them at anyone no matter what. Thank you for that report.